Okay guys, so the CHP just left and we got our verification done. But he told me a few things to point out. When they do the VIN verification, the screws in the tag, even though one was missing, no big deal. They don't want to see any scratch marks on the screws that make it look like it's been tampered with. So when I was doing the modification, I didn't mess with anything around the VIN plate because I kind of knew that. Also, there was, if we can see it under here, you can see where there's some welding and stuff. There's kind of a number there and it didn't appear to match the tag. Also, that did not matter. But when I cut that piece of channel that was on the frame off, I did not grind it. They don't want to see any grind marks on the frame near the VIN number. And then he found another tag on the bed and he said any tags that are on the vehicle to leave alone because they can use that number as a secondary number for the VIN verification. So he ran the number on the plate and Super Service is getting a registration. So I'll, I think on the next video I'll show you all the paperwork it takes to get a vehicle that's not on record on record with California. So stay tuned for that one. But that's the key thing. Don't mess with your VIN tag. It's got to look completely untampered with and you won't have any problems.